Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and here to introduce you to one of our newest animals. Look at this cutie. This is our new baby western hognose snake and a shout out to the Yellowstone Valley Animal Shelter for donating this guy to us. He was a, a pet surrender, came to the, the shelter and they were uh, for, we were fortunate enough to, to be able to adopt them from the shelter, so thank you to them. Now obviously these little western hognose snakes are just incredible. Now this guy is young, he's tiny, but believe it or not, he's not gonna get much bigger. As I've told you before, these western hog noses are pretty small snakes, but nonetheless remarkable. The first thing you might notice on him is this nose. He's got that upturned nose. He's going to use that just like a shovel and he's going to use that to overturn the dirt to look for his food. These guys are going to eat small bugs, insects, maybe some baby mice here and there. But here's the other cool thing about these hog nose is that there's a debate that's raging with these snakes of whether or not they should be considered to be venomous or not. A lot of people think they should be. A lot of people don't think. They are a rear fanged snake, meaning that they do have a venom and it doesn't capacitate small animals like small bugs like I said maybe a, a mouse here or there but when it does when they do bite humans they really don't have the ability to inject that venom into our skin like they do a smaller animal however there have been cases where it has happened and that person gets a swollen area almost like a blister however it's relatively rare for these snakes to actually cause any damage to human so I'll let you make it up are they venomous Mm, technically, yeah, they are, but again, debated in the scientific world as we speak. Now, one of my favorite things about these snakes is they have the ability to play dead. I just love it. You've all heard playing possum before. Well, these guys, they can do that. When they're upset, they will flip over. They will stick the tongue out of their mouth. They will emit a foul odor that makes it smell like they're dead. And get this, some have actually even seen them have a drop of blood on the end of their tongue. Like, believe it or not, they are a dead snake. Just so incredibly cool. They are found here in Montana. Uh, one of our, I think, one of the coolest snakes that we have, and they can actually be found at elevations of 8,000 feet. So they're a pretty high um, terrain animal as well. A lot of times you'll find them under logs and what have you. But again, note, they do have the capability of potentially in them and putting some venom into you if you do get bit by one. Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy with our beautiful and adorable new Western Hognose Snake.